What's going on guys? Today is Thursday. Just finished up my first job, got home, getting everything packed, and then getting ready to head out to the airport. Unfortunately, it's not a travel only day. Today is a combined work, travel, and then travel again. So just finished stage one of three, so getting ready for stage two here. Basically, I gotta get all this equipment into the car. I'm traveling all by myself, so as you might imagine, it's going to be a little bit of a fun challenge to basically get all this through the airport uh, with just me. Uh, it's a lot easier with two people, but we don't always get that luxury. Sometimes just got to be me that goes to do the job. Sometimes it's got to be Scott, so it totally depends. Um, the big challenge here, 87 pounds on that bag there. And this one down here, we call it the body bag, 78. So they're not just four bags, it's also four bags and two of them are almost twice the weight limit. So makes it pretty fun. Um, the nice thing is, is with Fly Southwest, Southwest it works really well with us being media and press. So they typically waive the overweight fee. Um, probably on this trip, we'll have to pay for a third bag. Not a huge deal, sometimes that comes up, but hey, work with what we got. I think I need a snow brush when it's 90 degrees out. Pretty cool. Just finished packing up the car. Let's head out. Look at that tail wag. Look at that tail wag. Look at that tail wag. Here, sit up. Stay. Oh, oh this shit. Phase two of the journey complete. I just arrived at National Airport. I am currently on the search for my rental car to pack up and begin phase three of driving down to Decatur. So, almost there. All right, just made it to the rental car. Nice little uh, Jeep Renegade. It's kind of a cool little car. Fit all the equipment in here, so getting ready to head down to the Doubletree in Decatur, Alabama. Looking at about an hour and 45 minutes. So it's about a little past midnight here. Um, I'm still on Denver time, so it feels like it's just 10 o'clock right now, so it shouldn't be too bad. So basically setting out for phase three, which is already in progress. Just made it to the hotel room, about to end the night. It's about 2.30 local time, so just finished the drive all the way from Nashville here to Decatur, checked in, ready to go to bed, get the day started tomorrow. Day two here in Decatur, Alabama has just started. I'm about to head out towards the sports complex where the archery event is being held, scope it out, kind of figure out what they're looking for, get started on some interviews, and then probably head back here, do some post-production work, and get the rest of the live stream uh, up and running. It's a pretty nice hotel here. Heading to the sports complex now where the archery event is being held. Uh, very little information right now, so that's kind of why I'm heading over there to kind of get a scope on things, figure out what they uh, want to have filmed today, and basically go from there. Pretty cool. I don't know 
if you can see it, but right there is a little Easter egg, little Jeep icon. They're scattered everywhere throughout the car. I love Jeeps, it's so cool. Alright, so we're here at the complex. Right behind me is the main field. That's where I'll be doing the streaming from. All behind me is the event itself. Pretty big in venue. Um, award ceremony that's going to be held over there. So basically just scoping the place out, getting all the details for tomorrow, and figuring out all the placement and logistics of everything. And other than that, we're pretty much set to uh, get everything ironed out tonight and get the hard part of setup done tomorrow. It's hot here, not as bad as it was in Florida, but still pretty humid. Uh, main thing is holding out on rain, making sure it doesn't rain here. Might have to get some plastic bags for uh, weatherproofing. So, take it from there. I think the part that sucks about big events is you're always like a mile away from where you parked. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to pull right up to the course to get all the equipment unloaded because I am not walking this far with two bags that are almost 90 pounds. I really like this hotel, don't get me wrong, I do want to nitpick something about it, and it's this lamp. The light only comes out here, and the problem with the light is that it's fixed. It doesn't move. So when I go to put this computer on the desk, I can't get the light to go anywhere besides reflecting off of the wall. So, like I said, it's a nice hotel and everything. I really like it. The lamp looks nice, however, it's form over function. And that's just my little nitpicky item for the day. So, that. This is the cool live stream keyboard. So basically it's an Apple keyboard with the keys that have been modified for preview and program, transition cut, and then hard cut with it, and then graphics channels, and all the functions to basically control live stream studio. Basically doing some editing, getting a run over to the store and probably get something to eat now. This day's been pretty slow. Some things changed that we were supposed to do that really haven't, so making do with what we got. Where are these two people are? Getting directions to Walmart Supercenter. It's so interesting. So this hotel I'm staying at is a double tree, and double trees uh, are really nice, but they differ greatly in their amenities or what the design of the room looks like. This one here in Decatur, Alabama, which seems very oddly placed, by the way, is probably one of the nicest. And what I mean by oddly placed is that it's right in the middle of like this suburban neighborhood. So right across from me that you can't see is houses. It's like a main street with a bunch of houses and this double tree that's right here. So back when I was in Florida, I had mentioned that when I go to different places, you notice some of the local driving patterns. Uh, in Florida, it was that people that they pull out in front of you here in Decatur, Alabama and Huntsville, they don't build turn signals into cars here. It's amazing. Uh, hardly seen one car with a turn signal. So just got back from Walmart, um, had to get a, some food um, just for during setup tomorrow. And then I needed to get I need a new uh, toothbrush and toothpaste anyway, so I went over to Walmart and grabbed one there because I forgot mine when I came over here. And usually the hotel has something, but I don't like theirs, and I needed a new one anyway. Um, mo one of the most interesting Walmarts I've been to, you know, always interesting when you go to a Walmart, but 
This one had security that would check bags in and out of the store, so like purses on the way in and then bags, shopping bags on the way out. And then they had they had bath salts on rollback right in the middle aisles, right up at the front. I thought that was kind of entertaining. How's it going guys? Last update was when I was going to Walmart and heading back from that one. Since then I've been in the hotel room getting all the graphics on this computer here put into the actual computer that's going to be running the actual live stream and then testing out some audio. One of the cameras, uh, this guy here is actually going to be used with the PR person. They're going to interview players in between uh, the matches or the sets um, and possibly during them as well and then we'll have a camera guy actually running the camera he'll be uh, walking around with it um, basically on a single SDI cable and then running off the battery pack that way um, and then the PR person will handheld be basically interviewing the players back and forth with that in between uh, so we'll go from commentators to uh, field reporter so that's how that's gonna work um, basically just testing it live stream here you see me holding the camera there. Basically got this camera feed right there. So what happens is you can see the audio level here, but it's not live. That's because it's on preview. When we take it live, hello, hello, hello. You probably hear a little bit of the echo in the background. That's because once that camera goes live, it automatically we'll take the audio and then the commentators go into the system a separate way. So that's how it's gonna be working for it. A few more cameras that'll be set up tomorrow. I'll take you along with that, show you the setup for Archery. It's gonna be brand new for me, so figuring it out as we go along. Um, but it should be fun, uh, probably gonna be hot. The biggest thing we're hoping that doesn't happen is rain. Um, so we're, we're fingers crossed that nothing happens there with rain, but if not, we'll just prepare for it and make do with what we got. Other than that, uh, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Um, basically combining the travel day and this all together in one because it wasn't too eventful outside of that with planning, getting all the logistics done. Tomorrow should be a more jam-packed day, so stay tuned for an upcoming video on the actual archery event itself and the broadcast there. So it's going to be totally different than water polo, so I can't wait to take you guys along for a ride. Let me know if you have any questions about it, and we'll catch you in the next video, guys. See ya.